A new age of commercial moon exploration is here, and one of the most ambitious missions yet is about to launch. The M2 mission, led by Intuitive Machines and partially funded by NASA, is set to take off aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on February 26. This mission is a crucial step in NASA's goal of establishing a sustainable lunar economy to support future human missions to the Moon. At the heart of M2 is its lander, Athena, roughly the size of a car. It will carry over 10 scientific instruments and vehicles, all aimed at advancing lunar exploration. Among them is a NASA drill, the Polar Resources Ice Mining Experiment 1, Prime 1, which will attempt to extract ice from beneath the moon's surface. Water ice is a vital resource that could be used for drinking water and even converted into rocket fuel for future deep space missions. Another highlight of the mission is GRACE, the Micro Nova Hopper, a small, guitar-sized spacecraft designed to jump across the lunar terrain. It's groundbreaking task. Entering a permanently shadowed crater near the moon's south pole, an area believed to contain frozen water. If successful, GRACE will capture images and temperature readings, helping scientists confirm the presence of ice in one of the coldest places in the solar system. M2 also features two rovers, Yaoki, a small Japanese-built rover, will capture images around the lander. MAP, Mobile Autonomous Prospecting Platform, developed by Lunar Outpost, will create a 3D map of the area and test Nokia's 4G LTE technology for lunar communications. The mission also includes innovative commercial partnerships. Columbia Sportswear is providing advanced thermal fabric, typically used in outdoor jackets, to help regulate the lander's temperature. Meanwhile, Florida-based Lone Star Data Holdings is testing a space-hardened storage device, carrying 8 terabytes of data, including a copy of the video game Starfield. The goal? To explore the possibility of secure data storage on the moon. This mission is particularly significant because it fills a gap left by NASA's cancelled Viper rover, which was originally meant to explore lunar craters for ice. As of now, GRACE is the only spacecraft set to enter a lunar crater, making M2 a crucial part of the Artemis program's long-term vision. NASA plans to land astronauts at the Moon's South Pole in 2027 as part of Artemis 3, using SpaceX's Starship. Future missions could see astronauts venturing into shadowed craters themselves to collect ice samples. However, uncertainty surrounds NASA's lunar ambitions, especially amid government budget cuts under the current administration. Some experts suggest a possible shift in focus toward Mars, aligning with SpaceX CEO Elon Musk's vision. For now, the M2 mission, expected to last about two weeks on the lunar surface, represents an exciting step forward in space exploration. While still in its early stages, this new lunar economy could pave the way for long-term human presence on the moon and beyond. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe for more latest news and updates.